always been to be a chef and be in part of the kitchen, but I also always wanted to follow my own entrepreneurial ambitions, if you like. I started when I was 17 full time. Um, I went to Catering College in Southgate for a year, and before that, I'd worked in restaurants, one called Bish Drakes, just for free, just to learn a bit of, about, about the trade. Um, Catering College wasn't really for me, to be honest with you. I didn't really learn all that much because uh, it was quite based on people that didn't already have an insight. So my chef there told me to get a job. The menu mainly revolves around burgers. Um, it's it's kind of a, a gourmet burger, if you like. So we've taken your traditional ideas of putting it in a bun and stuff, but we've gone the extra mile with our condiments and things like that. Uh, we've got five different burgers on there, uh, two beef, well, a beef with different variations. So bacon, cheese and the cheese. We've got two chicken, which is jerk, and a fried chicken. And then we've got two vegetarians, and one of them is vegan, which is a spiced veggie and a Mediterranean. When I was, uh, when I was 22, so, well, I am 22, uh, we, we opened this restaurant. Um, the plan in itself had been going on since I was 21 um, for here, but because we had to build the structure and the concept was very new, there was a lot of just planning before we actually opened up. And, yeah, this is my first. This is my first head chef position. Obviously, I have of interest as well. But it's it's been lovely to to be able to push. You know, I've, I've, in a way, I've realised a lot of the ambition I had when I first started, and I'm continuing to try and do so. We approached the council. My partner Ali Mehmet dealt with them mainly um, with the concept just over a year ago. Um, they liked the concept at the beginning. They didn't. Um, they didn't respond particularly quickly or or particularly wanting of it. We revisited it and uh, approached them again, and they did like the concept, but there's a lot of objections and a lot of hoops we had to jump through to get it anywhere. So we were represented at subcommittee, um, which we won. We were at a standstill for about a year, nine months to a year, but after that, it all moved pretty quickly, and we built this in four months. We, you know, it was a beautiful idea to be able to think about making something out of something that's been nothing for 10 years, and now we've turned it into somewhere that on a busy week, a thousand people walk in and out of, which is a really amazing thing. Uh, we've got five shipping containers in total. Um, there's one 40 footer, two 20 footers, and two five footers. Um, the 40 footer and the uh, two 20 footers are the main restaurant and the kitchen, if you like. And then we've got five footer that's customer toilets. And um, at the back, we've got a dishwasher area. Yeah, it costs just, it costs, over a thousand, a hundred thousand pounds to, to put everything together. And it was driven down Crouching High Road on 40 ton trucks. The idea for us and for myself as well is to have, is long term to have a change, something we can franchise, but to always keep, to always keep the restaurants independent to an extent. And, and, and that's what we've done here is that although it's a new restaurant and we could use any supplier we want, we're quite, dedicated to using as many local suppliers as we possibly can um, and so the idea is that even if we were to open one a mile away two miles away three miles away wherever it is burgers at en5 wherever we know that we'll be using suppliers that benefit that area and are good in that area so even though even though it could it will be a franchise and a business we'll still be independent in that way